Are you ready to become the best Demogorgon player in the world? Or I mean, I can't really make you the best Demogorgon player in the world since I'm still breathing. But at least I can give you 5 tips and tricks to become a top 10 demo player in the Vatican State. Every time you hold down your M2, you get a black outline on the edge of your screen. Wait for the black outline to disappear so you can shred further. If you are impatient and dash before the outline disappears, your shred is gonna be way shorter. You are usually gonna use your portals for mobility to traverse the map. But, did you know that if you open the portal by traversing through it once, you can track survivors who are close to it by holding your shred attack. This triggers killer instinct and allows you to see the survivor's heartbeat if they are close to the portal. Try and place your portals close to generators so you can track if there are any survivors on them. The lifeguard whistle add-on allows you to see the survivor's heartbeat without needing to hold your shred attack. So, if you're using this add-on, you should try to put it in popular areas where survivors most likely run through. Before I get to the third trick, you guys need to drop me a follow on my Twitch channel. I'm currently streaming every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, between 7pm to 11pm CEST. So come and say hello when you can, but without further ado, let's keep going. If you are on a tall ledge or a building, you can get a lot of distance if you shred from it. This can allow you to catch up to survivors faster and also zone them off loops. Just be careful about invisible walls since you can hurt your nose on them. There are some obstacles that don't have collision, especially the cars on Coal Tower and Badham. Try and use these slippery obstacles to slide on, so you can catch survivors off guard. Demogorgon is a zoning killer, so try everything to pressure survivors to these type of car loops, so you can secure yourself ahead. Demogorgon is a little similar to Pyramid Head, because both of these killers can use their M2 to bait survivors away from windows and pallets. This makes Demogorgon a strong zoning killer, and holding down your shred can be as powerful as using it, so don't try and go for shred attacks right away, so you don't get baited by a survivor. Stupid. You can actually see if a survivor is fake vaulting a window by looking at their item. If the item is disappearing from the survivor's hand, they are vaulting. If not, then they are faking it. If these 5 tips and tricks don't make you better at Demogorgon, then you honest to god just need to uninstall the game. Like for real, just throw it in the bin. Let me know in the comment section if there were any tricks or secrets that I missed. And please, for the love of god, follow me on Twitch at Tixfo.